Dennis. I'm Andrew, and, and we, we are, are the Crafty, Crafty Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks. And this is our cat. He's so sleepy. <laughs> the time has come for us to get organized, which is not an easy task not for us. us no. Yes, and we have so many craft supplies that we wanted to create a, a box that we have all our craft essentials in one area. Yes, yeah, so and we're going to do that with some balsa wood and some of our favorite plaid supplies, our matte mod podge and folk art paint. So let's get started. So we have all our pieces cut. We have a base here that's about seven and a half inches by 12 inches. And then our, our sides are about three inches high. And of course the length of the base. And then these are going to be our side pieces here. And they're about four inches high. Essentially what we're doing is creating a Clementine's box. We can't find any. It's the weirdest thing. We can't find any in Queens. We have a shortage. They a Clementine box bags. shortage. I know, and then they taste like garbage. What is wrong with you, Clementines? <laughs> yes, we're gonna be painting with folk art brushed metal bronze yes, color. Yes, we love this stuff. We use it all Ooh. the time. I know, I'm really excited to use it on wood. We haven't really tried it on wood. No, but you can use it for any material. That's true. All right, so we're gonna start painting. And we're gonna be painting one side and all the edges because we're going to be decoupaging on the other side. And I think a really light coat is nice because then you can see the wood grain. And also this is gonna be on the inside of the box. So we're just kind of trying to make it look uh, a little different here. Yeah. I actually, I really like how this is looking. It almost looks like a stain with like uh -huh, a little like a metallic little sheen. Yes. Or shine, is it sheen or shine? Charlie Sheen shine. Charlie Sheen shine. A good tip when you're painting on wood is to follow the grain of the wood. That's what they usually say. I can see you're already doing that, you master crafter, you. Thank you so much. And of course, what I love about this paint is that it dries really quickly. I love that too. And again, this is just the back, the inside, so we're not too careful. Yes. We're not too concerned with the way this looks. It's just going to add a nice detail, and it's going to complement the paper we chose perfectly. You know, Meryl Streep, she says, details. Oh yes, did I say details? Yes. I'm such a commoner. <laughs> I know, what's wrong with <laughs> How you? How embarrassing. I know, come uh, on, you gotta do what Auntie Meryl says to do. I know, anything Meryl does. WWMD, what would Meryl do? What would Meryl do? They're dry and shiny. Ooh. Ooh. Now it's time to add our Mod Podge and our paper. We're gonna do that on the back side here. We're just gonna use a light coating of Mod Podge. Right on the same way. We don't want it too thick so it doesn't bubble. We love a good brush. Brush up, brush up, brush up. And this silicone mat really has come in handy. It helps everything not stick, which I feel like is the biggest pain when you're working on a craft and all of a sudden a mess up like that happens. We're gonna add a light coating to the back of the paper. We have these pieces cut a little bigger. We're gonna cut it once they dry. Yeah, um, so, so you don't size. have to worry, but if you're using a piece of paper that's to size, you're gonna wanna make sure you get the edges really, really well. Okay, now it's time to marry the two, I think. You may kiss the wood. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound good. Mazel tov! Somebody's getting married. And then I'm just gonna use my fingers and lightly kind of press it down. And then we also have an awesome tool here, the brayer. Uh, which will help kind of get any bubbles out or any uh, weird looking areas. If some of the Mod Podge uh, seeps through, that's okay. That's okay, because once this dries, we're gonna add uh, a second coat on top. And this would be great with fabric, wrapping paper, tissue paper. Scrap paper, scrap anything paper. really. We Toilet it. paper. hey -o. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. This is all dry now. The cat is, <laughs> oh. Getting more and more sleepy and cozy and comfy. Um, and now we're just going to uh, trim the excess paper off before we apply our last coat of Mod Podge. Yes, we're gonna do that with a craft knife and we're just gonna do it nice and carefully along the edge. Yes, this is when I feel like a surgeon. They are looking super sleek, super Mod. chic. And now we're just going to apply our last layer of Mod Podge right on top here. We're doing a light layer. Yeah, just a light coat just to seal down those edges. And the great thing about Mod Podge is if it overspills a little bit, it'll dry clear so you won't even see it. We're gonna set these to dry and then build our box. Everything's, Everything's dry, dry. Time, time to, to build. build. And practice that. So we're gonna start putting our pieces together, starting with the side wedges, the side blocks. 
Um, we're using little nails and a hammer and a little bit of wood glue just to secure it all. Um, of course, you do you, whatever works for you. That's the greatest yep. thing about crafting. See something and make it your own. That's right, you could use a heavy duty staple gun. Uh-huh. We didn't have one, so we're using nails. There it is, how's the cat doing? He's sleeping. such a heavy sleeper. <laughs> So we have our poles in, now we're gonna uh, tack down our sides. And we want them to go up just a little bit to leave a little bit of room. So we're gonna measure that out now. Yeah, and for this, we're actually gonna use a table here just to kind of help secure it all. And, oh, hold. So we're just adding a little bit of wood glue and then we're going to measure it up about two centimeters from the bottom. side done. Wow. Wow. Two sides done. Almost done. It looks really good. It does and it's really sturdy. Yes, I really like and it's it. going to fit right in with our decor. Which is great because now we can have all our craft essentials easily at hand. Yep, and the cat left. He's ready for dinner and so are we. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah, it's a good way to get out all your aggression. Gosh, I really wanted to work out this year. <laughs> He's getting his workout. Hey, oh.